What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome to Not Another Podcast. It's your boy Phil, joined by the lovable, double, double bubble, hubba bubba, double Max. Yeah, double du- X, double bubble. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> We are listening to a track that I wanted to shout out today because my friend just recently released it. It is called Petra by Risto. And it is spelled R-Y-S-T-O. If you watch this on YouTube, you'll have the link in, uh, in the description. Uh, Max is now, if you're watching it live, posting the link to chat. I did it. He did it. Super cool guy. I've known this dude for a long time. Uh, very humble trans, uh, trans producer. Finally got, you know... Another really high, not high profile record label release, but like any time a fucking you get a song released, it's a big deal. Yeah. And and this is some solid shit. This is some baby Armin Van Buren shit, which you'll find out someday. I'll, I'll introduce you. At some point, yeah. At some point to this man. And I figured that like, you know, when I heard it today, I was like, oh, this shit was awesome. And as you can see, Max has hit us up with a beautiful title card today. <laughs> and for those of you expecting anything special to happen, no, nothing. We're this just, is as cool as it gets. This is cool as it gets. Hope everybody enjoys this. <laughs> this one. Thing. I am. This is my fa- I will say this is my favorite title card yet, though. It's really good. I, yeah. uh, the the next one is a toss up for me because just because I like how minimal it is and how like. Like, yeah. Just uh, you'll we'll, we'll see. We'll, we hope you're looking forward to the title cards more than the podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord knows that only makes sense. But yeah, hey man, hey hit man. up hit up Risto on SoundCloud and on Beatport and all that nonsense. If you don't know what Beatport is, don't worry about I have it. No idea what that is oh, at all. Beatport's like a like a DJ resource, pretty much. But like it's it's essentially just iTunes, but strictly for dance music. Whatever, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey man, how have you been? I've I've been, you know, it's I'm, I'm making my way to the couch. I can actually sit over here this time because yeah. we shouldn't have any stream issues. Yeah, so it's it's taken five podcasts, five podcasts, and multiple other streams, and several streams for us to finally. I looked at Max. I said, Max, I'm telling you, it's that fucking cable. And and he decided for the first time. In every single time that I've ta- looked at him and talked about it, to humor me. And motherfucker, it was the cable. God damn but it. Was it the cable? Because we we plugged that one back in there and it's working fine. Yeah, but it's not moving. Or it might have been like an elect- electronic, ele- electrical thing. I don't know. I don't know. Big shout out. Hey, shout outs to Amazon branded auxiliary cables. <laughs> this stream is officially brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon auxiliary cables and auxiliary to quarter inch adapters. God bless. Big shout outs to them keeping oh, us man. running. So uh, before we get into it and before we start, uh, some housekeeping for me personally. Mm-hmm. For those of you who have noticed, I did a very long stream on Saturday. And I promised that I was going to stream on Monday. Uh, so just to kind of you know let people know how fast life moves... Uh, that was originally the case, and then Monday something happened, and I'm not going to go into any detail for personal reasons. I am no longer living at my old house. I am living with my boy, the Maverick TCG is his stream name, aka Mr. Philly. Cool guy decided to bring me in. I'm going to be living there for a little while until I can get my own place. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be streaming is personally outside of going to Max's house. Hopefully yeah. within the next week or so, we're going to set something up to have my shit and then we can, me and him can do dual streams as well. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's, it's a, it's a thing that happened and yeah. I'm, uh, I apologize for all of it. And it is definitely going to put a lot of the stuff that I was working on for hipsters on purpose on hold as per usual. But that's fine. It's only given me more ideas, uh, and I, uh, you know, I've got some homework from Max I needed to start looking into. I think I already talked about it last time I was here. Uh, uh, I believe so. Yeah, you get some game footage for me, and my, you know, right? And, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna just play it by ear. For, play it by fucking ear. Uh, hopefully, we can get a video out before the end of March. So at least it's a video per month at this point. Yeah. Um, with one month completely gone, but hey, we we appreciate you guys coming to the streams and 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 your continued listening on uh, the YouTubes. Mm-hmm. Y'all are the best. 
So, anyways, what have you been up to this week, Max? What you, what you playing? What you watching? What you listening to? Uh, all right, that's right. Uh, all right, so we'll start with what I've been playing. I am a Souls fan now. Wow, I, that is pretty. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. I went from absolutely hating Souls and thinking that it was just kind of bullshit, cheap like beginner's trap stuff all the way through mm -hmm. and now i'm currently juggling a playthrough of dark souls 3 and bloodborne uh at the same time which, which is not which fun. makes sense because i mean if you're gonna uh, as someone who's like and and this is of course the comparison that makes everybody's fucking blood boil but as someone who comes from like monster hunter and yeah. it's like okay more nuanced combat i'm used to it now uh, Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne are both easily the, the best hopping off points because if you had just immediately gone into Dark Souls 1 or, or nay I say Dark Souls 2 for or God's demon sake. Demon Souls. Or Demon Souls. Ooh, you probably wouldn't have enjoyed yourself ne anywhere near as much as you are right now. But yeah. I think you'll, you'll have, definitely have a, a harder appreciation for Dark Souls 1 afterwards and then Dark Souls 2 if you if you want to play PvP, it's it's got the most weapon customization in all the series. So right, there's that. Yeah, I might be interested in that, but it, it is it's like yeah, Monster Hunter basically trained my it rewired my brain so that I could play uh, the Souls games. And while I am really enjoying them, there are some stuff that I still can't move past. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't know which I love or hate more, the Estus or the Blood Vials. <laughs> I like being able to get health items in the field. I think grinding health items is awful, and grinding bullets has been terrible in yeah, Bloodborne. Yeah. Uh, lock on in both games. It's a little bit better in Dark Souls Three, but is, for something that's required for a lot of those fights, the lock on system is not great. But other than that, atmosphere-wise, and like, I'm not, I'm not paying a huge attention to the story right now. Uh, I'm, I'm picking up bit, bits and pieces here and there. Uh, I'm just really liking it, and, and I'm digging the Dark Souls kind of medieval style more than I thought I would because I'm not a huge, like, I, I could never get into Skyrim or anything like that. I'm not big into medieval stuff. Um, well, there's a difference between like traditional fantasy and dark fantasy. Yeah, that's why that's why games like The Witcher Three and and even and Dark Souls are so much more uh, apt for my taste as well because the idea is that it's to, it staves away from like the magical fairy bullshit and then mm. if it does magical fairy bullshit it's normally followed up by awful terrifying real world entities like uh, one of my favorites in The Witcher 3 is the, the the three women in the forest that are supposed to be beautiful women end up being just awful looking <laughs> Silent Hill hags that eat people eat children in the forest it's fucking great yeah and dark souls has a lot of that bloodborne is on a whole nother level i don't know how far you've been in bloodborne yet bloodborne i'm in old yarnum uh okay. right now and you know and you know the the whole i'm assuming at this point it's like 2015 2018 you know the whole like actual shift the game does right it goes from like traditional victorian horror uh, to, to eldritch horror, yeah 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 which yeah. is uh a genre of horror that is nary like that nobody really does and nobody does it as well as the, this fucking The only game. other game I could possibly think of is, like, Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, like things that the are... the top of my head. Things that are directly linked yeah, with, exactly. uh, with those you know, works of fiction. Nothing that's actually original. And this is, like, very... Like, I mean, obviously, it's going to take some liberties with, like, source material. Very original. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing stuff. Well, I, I will on. say, it's, it's... I'm having more fun fighting the humanoid, like, stuff. But when there are, like, original creature designs, they've all been, like stand out in Dark Souls and in, in Bloodborne. Like, both. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Wait till you get to Rom, the vacuous spider in Bloodborne. I love spiders, so that should be cool. It, the the arena enjoyable. is so fucking cool. It's it's so... Like, getting to the arena... Oh, God. I, I don't know if we were going to get to that. By the way, for those of you watching live, I think we're going to be playing, if you're still up for it, we're yeah. going to be playing some Bloodborne on Max's stream right afterwards, so I hope to see you guys hopping over for that. Um... And if you're on YouTube, what the fuck are you doing? You gotta guys gotta come over here. You, you gotta, gotta you gotta do both. You gotta do I think both. is is yeah. is that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's Souls. Um, I started a playthrough of Blue Reflection on my own personal Twitch channel. I'm not sure. Yeah, if you're familiar I with saw that, that. Game. No, I am familiar with that game. Yeah. How's it going? It's exactly what I thought. <laughs> it's a it's a very pretty game. The RPG mechanics are pretty shallow. There is no experience. That's a it's, four it's hour game, weird. isn't it? It, it says 24 hours mm. on a, a regular day. playthrough a whole day so it's an it's a it's a light play 
Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think the main girl's cool. I was kind of bummed to find out you only have three party members through the whole thing, but then you get these kind of like rival schools assist characters during Ooh, boss fights. That's pretty cool. Where people are coming out and hitting tennis balls at, again, like horrible monsters. <laughs> um, and the soundtrack is, is godly. Soundtrack, the aesthetics, the UI are all like fantastic. Like if Persona 5 was like sensory overload, this is like eye bleach. Like it's just <laughs> super relaxing to look at and like listen to. Um, I don't know if eye bleach was the term I'd use for that. Maybe cathartic. Cathartic. Eye bleach yeah. is a thing. Yeah, but eye bleach I feel like would be like holy shit. This like like a fucking what's the I. That game died so hard I forgot the fucking name of it. It was the the Gearbox Studio version of Overwatch. Bloodborne? No. Not Blood. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, 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 Why no, the no, fuck no, did no, you no, really no. cue to that no, too? Because I, it I starts with a B, Battleborn. Battleborn. It was a born. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah, that's eye bleach. Really? That's straight up. Have you not seen the UI for that? Mm, I played it in beta, I think. Oh I don't know man. That. Well, I mean, at least in the in the fucking console version yeah. it was eye bleach. And eye bleach is a good thing, well. you know that, right? Is it? Yeah. No, eye bleach is is because you you ble when you bleach something, you clean it. So eye bleach is something that's meant to like clean your just pretty things to look at. Yeah, but you, no, it, it's but it, if you swallow bleach. Yeah, well, don't put bleach in your eyes. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's metaphorical. It's bad. For what? No, no, no. It. Trust me, eye bleach is a good thing. Where did you? Who in the fuck have you ever heard you use the phrase? This is I please. People don't say it as much anymore, but like at all. <laughs> but like in like mid two thousands, that was yeah, it was eye bleach. Yeah. Cathartic is like another word for it, but yeah, like I or not, I guess not. No, because I, I can't no, even trust you. No. I can't trust your synonyms. You didn't. No, motherfucker. Uh, but yeah, no, it's fine. Google this fucking. Eye I I highly recommend looking at some screenshots and listening to the soundtrack of Blue Reflection. Maybe not picking it up. Uh, if you want the complete experience, I found out today the season pass is eighty dollars for just costumes. I uh, will not be picking that up, but uh, yeah. Other than oh, that, well, that's that's fucking weird. Why is that considered a good thing? Again, it's it's meant to cleanse your eyes that, uh, or clean your eyes. Oh, I mean, it's I it. guess. Oh, yeah. so it's like a palate cleanser, kind of. Yeah, All right. it's like cute cats and like I don't make uh, that connection. Cute girls, like it's like eye bleach. Well, I I guess because of the fact that like when you hear about bleach all the fucking time, it's always some asshole drinking it. Yeah, it's always some ass like, or, or fucking popping like the gushers form of them. Like you know, it 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 doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Whatever. Yeah, I uh, I lose this fucking round. Yeah. Uh, other than that. Uh, I went back, started playing some Project Justice, Rival Schools. Always playing fighting games all the time. That one fucking kid, Dragon at, Ball, at, at OFN had me rolling like on the inside. Yeah, I was passing out listening to that man fucking actually try to do some combos in yeah. Rival Schools. That boy was like, oh, oh, he, oh, yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That boy was like in between like having a conversation with you guys and then having a schizophrenic conversation with the people he's like training with. Yeah, I, like I. It was it was an experience. He's a he's a character. He helps us out now. Uh, he does a lot of commentary for games and stuff. I could uh, I could watch that. I could watch that. That'd be uh, funny. Yeah, funny dude. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's what I've been playing. What I've been watching. I'm still watching my three shows. Still watching cute Antarctica girls, Franks, and uh, Pop Team Epic, and they're all still great. Yeah. Uh, Franks especially is getting a lot of really good character development right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I started and finished Konosuba. Both seasons the shows pretty funny. I liked it. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah, I I couldn't get into it. I think we talked about it last time, but I just couldn't get into it. Uh, I'll try to give it a try again, maybe when I get a hold of my finances and understand where I where I'm at. I'll I just am in I'll life. just give you my verb account, dude. You can oh. just share that. This year's broken. You'll get Funimation and Crunchyroll. Don't say that on the phone. You mean you'll you'll give yeah, me I'll the give it, I'll give you the remote while you're here at my house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll watch uh, it together yeah, we'll at watch your it. house. Yeah. Legally. Friends. <laughs> uh, Anyways. So, yeah. I, watching, it's just a lot of anime. I'm trying to make use of that subscription right now. Um, you, gotta, you gotta get... Catching the, up on shows. Mm -hmm, you gotta start catching up. I, I have felt like... The, you're right. You called me a fake weeaboo. And yeah. part of me is like... You've been thinking about it. It's I've been, been stewing. Thinking about it. It, it, it has been kind of sitting a little bit, like sitting wrong with me. And I, and I don't know how to feel about it, but... I feel like I need to get in tune with, with the anime again. I'll help you out. 
with our w- when you're on my couch and guide, I hand you my remote. Guide my hips, Max. Uh, fuck if I don't. <laughs> that's that's not ear bleach. Let me tell you. Uh, no, that's it's like it's not ear Drano. The, okay, it's good, there you it's good go. sounding stuff. That's it's ear eye, Drano. Eye Drano. <laughs> eye bleach, ear Drano. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, what I've been listening to, it, it's been, it's been kind of a lot of the same stuff. I've been listening to the DJ, the rest of the DJ Max soundtrack and I've been going back through that. Oh man. And having a good time. Us playing DJ Max on Monday was a fucking just trip for me, brother. Yeah. Uh, Cause like, I remember, uh, I'm trying to remember how I even happened upon it. I think it was this game called O2 Beat, which was an old, old ass fucking free to play game that followed the DJ like it had a DJ Max setting and like you could play a lot of the DJ Max songs on computer. So when I was younger Was it Osu? No, it wasn't Osu, it was O2 Beat. It was huh. very old. Like this was before Elite Beat Agents. Oh like, shit. It was okay. a thing. So like it was it like it was I mean I was like twelve, thirteen. Shit. So uh, like forty or fifty years ago. Forty or fifty years ago, crazy. yeah. <laughs> Fuck you get <laughs> We're going to be 27 in two months, you piece of shit. Uh, but, you know, um, it God, like, Sin popped up, and I was like, yo, I Since, immediately, and then Oblivion, and I was like, oh, Sin, God. Sin, Oblivion, there's so many good songs. Futurism, Outlaw was, Outlaw was, every time I see that fucking backing animation to it, I'm just like, I would watch this anime. The in a gangsta heart. anime should have been just Outlaw. The gangsta anime should have just been good. I I think that's probably the I really wanted to watch that based just on the opening. It's like no, don't. no, it's boring anime. Yeah. Oh well. oh well, I'll probably still watch it at some point. Yeah, I guess. You know, is that, uh, is that it? Oh, you good? Uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna add something to w- what you're reading. Uh, we know you looked. You know what I'm reading. Mm. Everyone knows. How far are you? I got halfway through that book. Okay, so how many books do you have? Uh, f- I I have four books of Alicization, and I'm halfway through the second one. Oh, all oh, right, because it's so fucking long. It's pretty long. And that's that, all that's been localized so far. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, are they still? Okay, so we're still localizing it. Will yeah. we get the anime finished before we get the fucking books finished? One hundred percent. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's definitely. Crazy. Um, yeah, that's it for me. What have you been up to? What have you been? Well, uh, uh, before uh, the fall, I guess. Before. The- uh, <laughs> You know, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, there, there was a. Uh, I actually picked up Vermintide this weekend. Uh, and I don't know if you know much about Vermintide. Yeah, it's, it's the Warhammer, uh, the Warhammer Left, Left 4 Dead. Dead game. Yeah, uh, the second one did away with a lot of my complaints of the first one. I couldn't even like get beginning to get into the first one at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one just felt fun and engaging, and it was difficult, and I loved every second of it. Picked up a lot of Rainbow Six. Actually, fell in love with Final Fantasy uh, 15 all over again. Nice. I, 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 I there. You know, it, it took a little while. I think the the prompt the for me especially what actually is helping out a lot is the inclusion of the DLC weapons, making it so combat isn't a fucking slog. Yeah. As it was in the beginning, like you are super powerful, and if if I really wanted to, I could. I mean, Ragnarok. I'm in chapter three, just fucking around in Dusk Guy. Ragnarok is still fucking killing things like that, which with the warp, uh, warp move, warp strike, yeah. warp strike, and uh, the inclusion of like switching between characters, and just the fact that like my system, I have a weird problem in that my graphics card, when I cap it to sixty, will actually drop, like, further, like it won't drop super hard. Well, go to like fifty instance. above fifty-five yeah. and sixty. If I if I do it to one hundred twenty, it's only going to drop to sixty. So it never drops below 60 now. Yeah. And it just looks beautiful. Feels good to play. I, 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 100%. Like, when you get a controller in your hands and you go from, like, the PS4 to the PC, you feel that 60 frame difference. And you are just immediately in there. And you're just like, oh, perfect. I, I can say I, I'm playing Dark Souls 3 on PC and Bloodborne on PS4. And that's probably been the most difficult thing to go back and forth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Because, God, Dark Souls Three is so well optimized on PC, mm-hmm. and it feels amazing. It and then you play Bloodborne; so it's like this is fi- this is like five frames per second. I don't know how I'm even <laughs> playing this. <laughs> oh uh, man! But I was I was playing a lot of it, 
And uh, I, I just, like I said before, I was picking up an obscene amount of JRPGs to the point where I was looking at some of the fucking games I had for PS4, and I was like, well, you know, Far Cry is coming out soon, but I keep hearing so many good things about Assassin's Creed. And I was just, like, looking at Persona, I was like, man, I am not going to get back into you in a while. Like, I, I this is going to be like a, I need to feel a, a playthrough coming, but what for five five yeah, yeah it's I... like uh maybe i'll trade you in and then, oh. so now i'm now now i'm going through the the i'm definitely gonna see if i can trade in 15 for something please don't tell me you traded in persona 5 but you kept whatever that fucking yuri oh, Knights, game was Knights of azure Knights of azure well i would have to keep it on the basis of it would only be 250 don't look at me like that i know it no, would only i know be what you're two dollars like it's it it's worth nothing because it is nothing. When I tr I've tried to trade in that copy of uh, Virtual Fighter Five for PS3 about four or five times now at different retailers, and every time they just kind of hand it back to me. Yeah, like why? like it's gonna be twenty five cents. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the motherfucker on the other side is just like, dude, don't even just dude, keep it. I don't get this point. Dude, if you keep this, I'll give you the power up rewards for free. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what like retailers you've been going to because the GameStops I I have like walked into are hungry. Those motherfuckers are hungry. I heard they they one of their incentives now is they'll give you like Ziploc bags to keep your games in. Like yeah. the bag they give you changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh boy. I only shop at our our shop, which I totally name dropped on stream at, during Fucking one of the we, events. We name dropped bad. several times. No, but we were like sponsored by them. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no, it wasn't great. I think I've already deleted the VOD. Oh. But it was like a tournament VOD, so I was like, uh, maybe they. no one will know. No one will know. Oh, boy. Oh. Although now they'll know. Now look everyone at, will look know. Look at all this egg on fucking Max's dick. I got off the commentary. I, like, I I said it three seconds into sitting down at commentary, and I, like, straight up, I would have just right, rolled right in. Mountain fucking dick. <laughs> God. So. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> What I've been watching, not a whole lot. Like I, I, I once again, I can't get into watching anything. I have to, I have to find another series. Mm -hmm. I have to sit down and like it has to be something. It doesn't have to be animated. It doesn't have to be Netflix series. It has to be something because yeah. I, I just, I need to feel like a human being who can actually sit down and watch something. I can't unless it's like fed to me through YouTube. Yeah. I just can't fucking do For it. For me, it's it's a lot of the times just the commitment. It's like I've been yeah. thinking, I've wanted to watch like Daredevil and all those shows, but it's like they're each an hour long. They're ten episodes per season. Whereas like for YouTube stuff, it's like, yeah, I might watch the same amount of content, but it's all different shit and I don't feel like, oh, I've stopped I've taken a break from watching this, now I just feel bad because I never finished it. You like, know that feeling isn't there. You know what's weird is that like you would think with the idea of like Netflix saying, Here, just consume an entire season of something. Yeah. That you'd be, like, super gung-ho about it. It's actually kind of intimidating because you're sitting there and it's like a part of you is like, yeah, I can do this. I have a whole day. But another part of you is like, am I really going to waste 10 hours watching one fucking thing? Yeah. That I don't even know is going to be good. You know what I mean? Like, the only reason I was in, like, with that with Altered Carbon is because it's it's a fucking easy series to get into if you're... It's, you're not like, over good content. Yeah, if you... Not only that, if you just note over the idea of cyberpunk in yeah. general. So, like... I was just like, yeah, I'll fucking do that. And then Devil Man Cry Baby. Well, then fuck it's Devil, it's if I stopped Devil watching Man, it, I man. never would have gone back, so I had to finish it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, I actually stopped at episode the episode right before everything went to shit. Okay. <laughs> so like literally I, I ended I gave myself a cliffhanger and came back to it. Mm. The only other series I ever did that with willingly was to fuck with my friend who was really into it and was like, We have time to watch it. I said, Yeah, I know, but I want to fuck with you. Good. Your piece of shit was actually the the uh, people are gonna call me trash probably because they don't like this fucking anime. Rin's Sisters of uh, Menelisine. I forget what the f how to, have you ever heard of it? Phil, you're like one of the weirdest anime watchers I've ever. Okay, but this I is know. also one of the weirdest animes of all time. Yeah, I I the name sounds familiar, but I don't know what it uh, is. Oh, uh, basically, it's about an immortal lesbian detective. Who? Okay. <laughs> it's got the the premise is she meets a dude. And that, like, she's not, she's kind of the main character, but the series follows generations of that dude's lineage, and she's always a constant. That's pretty dope sounding, it's, it's, actually. It's only six episodes, and they're all an hour long, 
and it is the most violent, oh, so it's sex like an, filled. So it's like, like an OVA then. Yeah, it's like an OVA, yeah. and it's it's super fun, and the ending really sucks, but the journey there is really fun. Yeah, I like that a lot because she just has like a little little twenty year hope. God, I hope she's legal of illegal age lolly thing <laughs> running around, uh, following her taking shots of vodka and then kissing it into her mouth and she's like you stupid bitch it's 10 in the morning <laughs> oh, <damn> it. <laughs> it's uh, it's great it's a great no uh, i totally get the netflix like thing because because normally i i totally follow the three episode rule but mm -hmm. when every episode's an hour long yeah yeah, yeah. that becomes a lot that's an afternoon to do. yeah that's a, you have to you have to make a decision like you're just sitting there like this is what i'm doing like, like by is... the time i realized iron fist was the worst show i've ever seen in my life I was already three episodes in, so I was like, three hours. I'm just gonna watch the fucking rest. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and it, and it, it's like it, it kind of gives rise more to people who who are like, oh, I just want to watch a review of this to see if it's even worth my fucking time. Yeah, but we're like, but also at the same time, it's it, because of that. I don't feel the in, like incentive to keep watching. I think the only anime I watched, like, really sat down and watched full all the way through in recent memory, has been Kill to Kill. Because it was watching it while it was being simulcast. Mm -hmm. So it was actually keeping up with the dates it was coming out. And I will say, that's actually... It, I wouldn't say it's been fun, but it's definitely kept my interest. Where I'm like, oh shit, it's Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll add this to the list of things I'm going to watch. Along with all the bullshit I'm going to look up on YouTube. Exactly. Like, you, you have something that you can set, like, the, the smallest amount of time. Do it and yep. be like, okay, good. I'll wait till next week. Yep. And, I, and that wasn't... And it's so weird saying that as an adult... When, like, not not but a few years earlier, I would have said, I just want to fucking watch the rest of it now. I just, yeah. You know, even without, like, a cliffhanger, I'm like, I can appreciate a good cliffhanger now. Yeah. As long as they, as long as I know there's a fucking end. Like, mm -hmm. I know, like, I know there's some that are just always like, eh, uh, we got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but not watching anything. Listening. <clears throat> Obviously, we played our, on my boy, Risto. God bless him. Mm -hmm. uh, I got really two good. bands. I'm definitely going to check out the rest of his stuff. It's pretty good. I'm going to go through. Pretty good stuff. Uh, two bands. Just literally found this one today. I got. I don't know much. I can't even figure out what their style is. It, it, it combines like alternative rock, synth wave, and stoner rock. And they're called... Okay, let me turn, make sure turn it down so I don't fucking immediately flag. Uh, the album I found was called... Polygon Wanna Land. I can't even like and the name of the band is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And it's fucking dope. King Gizzard and, and the, the Lizard, Lizard Wizard. Wizard. It's fucking dope. And I and I want to listen to more of it when I uh get off of whatever the fuck we're doing here tonight. I just kinda that is it, it took me to another world when I was listening to it because I was just going scrolling through because I was listening to Ghost, actually. Ghost is a really cool synth wave producer mm -hmm. uh more so I, I don't know what the genre name of it is i call it horror wave because it sounds like a fucking horror movie huh like like an old i i, I know movie. i know what you're yeah, yeah like you I know like it's got sound like you're very, talking about yeah and and i'm just going through and the fucking name of the label that, that that ghost was on was blood music so i'm like this sounds edgy as fuck and then I'm going through, and of course it's got like heavy metal and more synthwave artists. And I saw saw fucking King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And if you see a fucking name like that, you can't not listen to their you whole discography. You can't listen to it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's it, oh, apparently Sim knows who it is. So there you go. There's there's the one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'll definitely give it a listen. And then another friend of mine um, actually introduced me when I was uh, watching a stream on Friday. To this really cool band called the Reign of Kindo, and they're they're like a like an uh, jazz fusion mix band. All right, uh, super cool like guitar solos, you know, woodwind instruments all over the place. Sick mm -hmm. fucking drum, like it's it's very hard to like. It's an old like I want to say it's an older band because like the, a lot of their stuff is from. I think the most recent thing they did was in 2013 that I saw. Yeah. Uh... So like, they're I don't know if they're still making music, but I, the music that was been released on YouTube so far like is fantastic, and the weirdest. I and this is gonna sound strange, but the the craziest thing that I can kind of like liken it to, is like a very original anime soundtrack. 
Like it, it really like when you listen like, to the lyrics, like like you like you like a like there's a band that created a soundtrack for like a particular anime, and this is what yeah. it feels like. It, it, it almost feels like a very, like a kind of like a Bacano almost. Okay. Yeah, kind of like you, that. You got me. You but, did but it. But a little bit more rock centric. And All it was, right. it, I don't know. So go listen to them. Really cool. I gotta listen to more King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard because that's just fucking amazing. Uh, uh and obviously g- just more synthwave, Ghost and always d- disco or disco death. Oh, I have started going through the Hotline Miami two soundtrack. Yeah, uh, it's pretty pretty good. Good stuff. I like it. Yeah, uh, it's really fantastic stuff. The game is not the best, but. Yeah, I think I watched Cheat play it on Go to Bed Cast a little bit, and I was like, yeah, it looks like more Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is great. Yeah. Hotline Miami 2 is. Once you learn that game, it's great. But that game is way different just because of the fact that the maps are way bigger. That's what it looked like. It was more sprawling. Yeah. The wasn't... Vietnam segments or whatever that Those was. Were fine. I. It, it... <sighs> When I first played it, I was really upset because, like, the general map design kind of, like, irked me in a way. Because, like, the thing is, you had a function in the original Miami, uh, Hotline Miami, where you can hold shift and look ahead of you. Yeah. And you didn't really need it, though. It was, like, you your reaction time was still able to, like, kind of save you. Mm-hmm. And in this one, like, bullets will catch you on a dime. And it's almost it almost feels like fucking hit scan, even though they are definitely projectiles, but it feels like hit scan. Yeah. And hit scan enemies are not fun to fight against in any capacity on any level unless you're playing a fucking multiplayer game. Oh, like yeah. that the like, hit scan is a bullshit fucking thing. That's one of the main reasons why I don't like Wolfenstein's uh, Wolfenstein two's gameplay. I hope I wish it was fucking projectile based. It's not. It's all fucking hit scan. So Jeez. you're just so you're you know, the the fucking gameplay loop is, yeah, you can run at the fucking speed of sound, uh, but you have to keep holding the fucking X button or the square button to pick shit up or because that's another thing. There's no regenerating health in that game. Whatever. Yeah. That's a discussion for another time. Yep. Bullshit. That's what I do with my week. Nice. Hopefully I can uh, play either more. Sa- I can play Assassin's Creed or play Far Cry when it comes out in two mm-hmm. weeks. Alrighty, well then let's get right into uh, topics for today. Drizzy Drizzy Drake. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. We'll start. We'll start with Drizzy Drizzy Drake. Why not? Uh, Why? Okay. Are you? Were you being facetious when you were talking to me earlier? I am. Okay. So no, no, I wasn't being facetious, and no, I'm not angry for the reason you're thinking. Mm. I'm upset because one day before I was hanging out with with Steven in the Discord, Six Scott. And we were just, I was going through the games list on, on Twitch, just browsing through shit. I'm like, oh, wow, Fortnite's, like, way ahead of League of Legends. Yeah. And I clicked on it, and I saw a streamer named Ninja. And mm-hmm. I clicked on it, and I'm like, I can't believe 100,000 people are watching this guy. And he was, like, dead silent, just playing. And I'm like, yeah, he's, like, really good at the game, but everything I'm seeing is stuff I could see in, like, any Fortnite, like, I want to say combo video. <laughs> That's not what they were called. Montage. Montage. God. Yeah. Um, it's anything you can see in a montage, but he's not saying anything, so I don't get why people are watching him. And then he started talking, and he was like hyperactive video game online personality. I'm like, oh, he's one of those. As soon, th- this guy probably won't last. This is probably just a fad. He'll die out, and Ooh. when Fortnite's popularity goes down, so will his. The next oh, fucking boy, night, you got so much egg on your the dick. The next fucking night is the first thing I've been wrong about in a long time. Ninja is joined on stream in Fortnite by not only Drake, y- yes, y- that one, Music Man Drake, Hotline but the, the other one. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. I Juju couldn't remember Schmidt. his name. Juju Sch- I don't who, know who, who I believe guys. is on the Raiders. The football team. So, so Ninja's got like the hottest squad that's ever <laughs> been in a video game ever. <laughs> He's getting... I think he got like five... No, it was 1,000 new subscribers. No, it was... Get ready for this. 630,000 concurrent viewers with yes. 90,000 new subscribers on top of the already amount of subscribers. 90,000 You do the math, at, you do the math at, the lowest, at the lowest uh, rate at 250. 
you're talking about two hundred fifty thousand dollars were made right fucking there, and that's not even counting the fact that partners actually, from what I've, but I, this is complete hearsay. I want to yes. completely say it right here. Yeah, I don't know much. This is just what I've heard. Apparently, partners get special rates to, on certain things, and that's not counting the crazy subscriptions that you can do for twenty five dollars. And that's also so not considering this man made more than a, possibly a half a million dollars. That w to, yeah. two nights ago, and then that's not even considering that subs are every month. Yeah, this dude just went from like it looks like he's streaming out of a fuck like this place, <laughs> but with no equipment. He's got like so, one container in his house, yeah. and now he's. Oh my god! So I okay, I looked at it a little bit less cynical than that. And by a little bit, I mean a lot less cynical because I've actually been kind of curious about the Fortnite phenomenon. And if there's one thing that I can tell you right now is there is not a stream like Ninjas. In the in the uh, few hours that I have watched and gone like skip from stream to stream, that guy absolutely changes the meta of that game. The yeah. amount of if you if you sit down and watch that dude's like gameplay, it is unfucking fathomable how good he well, is. Well, because. He, um, is, he is absolutely the best Fortnite player in the world. Well, because I, I can say that with, with sounding fucking the, like... The very next day I went back and I actually sat and watched his streams for like an hour and a half, two hours. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can, from the gameplays, I could 100% see it. Yeah. yeah. That dude is it, it, fucking stupid. We're all the way on the other side of the map. He's like, where am I being shot from? He turns around, fucking headshot right away, done. Yeah. And he's he's changing the environment like he's got the dev kit open yeah, while like, he's playing. <laughs> I think that's that to me is like easily one of the most like awe-inspiring things about what his stream is doing for that game. Mm -hmm. that, that game that stream is single-handedly selling that game. I'm telling you 100% without a fucking doubt. That guy's that guy's gameplay style is absolutely driving downloads. Mm -hmm. I would say sales, but it's a fucking free-to-play game. That, I'm telling you right now, Ninja is an absolute fucking commodity. And in terms of just... Uh, if there... Let me tell you something. There are worse fucking people that could be getting those numbers. Yes. There are absolutely worse. worse fucking streamers. And regardless of how I feel about you know, the quality of her of person's content, as someone who has been watching his streams on and off, I would put him up there with a shroud. Where I would watch Shroud's PUBG streams and just kind of enjoy Shroud's a little bit more like laid back, and mm -hmm. I, I I appreciate that yeah. and what I was looking for. Um, I can't talk shit about hyperactive streamers. I'm a fucking hype beast myself. Yeah, you know I, what it's I mean? a different. It's a different kind for sure. Yeah, it, yeah, and and that is 100% a personal preference thing. Like, yeah, I can't watch people who are like that, but I would never say like somebody else who watches it is like, no, you're you're wrong. No, I I get that, but um. I get that entirely. Yeah, but no, I, I agree that it's weird. It's super weird. They call it battle building. Battle building? I think that's what they call I think I heard the term battle building, and I was like, that is the silliest, raddest shit I have yeah. heard. Like, and, and then you watch it happen, and the amount of, like, thought that has to go into every single... Every like, single fucking choice he's making within that rapid, like, that instance... It's insane, like to see, like, like to see the human mind operate that fucking fast. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like, Ninja has been around for years. Ninja has been a streamer who's been on the low key side of things because he was a popular uh, Halo pro. I forget which one he specifically played a lot of. I'm assuming he played most of them, but he was he's always been. Yeah, I was on... gonna say because before I found him in Fortnite, I, I recognized like the name, yeah. and the logo in his picture. Like yeah. his little icon, but I couldn't like place it. But that sounds familiar. Yeah, like exactly. Halo stuff. But you know, and and every now and then, I like when I was into Halo, I'd watch his streams, and he was good at that. He was great at that. Not like game defining like he is with this one. Yeah. It's baffling to to see what he's fucking doing on on this game. Like I I I can't. I and this is one of those things where it's like I know that there is 
Fortnite has taken the throne of that one game that everyone hates because that because it's popular. Mm -hmm. That's that's really and that's how you know. That's how you know when you when you have that side of friends that's on your Facebook posting Fortnite sucks memes. You know it's made it because motherfuckers that have to be haters every single time. Yeah, every game has to have a fucking set of haters to know that you've made it. That's that's how it works. Mm -hmm. That's how it absolutely works. If you got people who love you. You ain't fucking grinding hard enough. You need to make some fucking dough. You need to get out there and start stomping some fucking heads in. Exactly. That's why we haven't made it yet. Exactly. Because you guys adore us You're... as idols and yeah. gods. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but later we will play Bloodborne, and then we will have made it. Yeah. After. Uh, the, uh, the other two. So Travis I. Scott so I. Uh, the Drake thing, I'm assuming, was something that they kind of planned ahead. But what I really, what I was trying to convey, and, and it didn't, I actually typoed the wrong fucking word, and it put everything else in that tweet line that I did out of context. Mm -hmm. What I was trying to say was, really, the the reason why people are freaking out about this, aside from the traditional, oh hey, really famous people playing together, is the fact that when you sit down and watch that stream. It's funny. It's genuine. There are some exchanges going on that are hilarious. Yeah. Um apparently I didn't I haven't seen the clip, but apparently Drake was running around as a plant. I don't know if you know the joke. He has a song called God's Plan. Yeah. And then Ninja turned to him and was like, Why what are you doing? He's like, I'm God's plant. And just fucking ran off in front of him. And I was, and I hope that's real. I hope that's a real, not just a meme. I hope that was a real fucking exchange. A real fucking exchange. Uh, and because like, because like, I think it was either Ch Juju Schmidt or or Travis Scott was picking Drake up from being down. He's like, all right, three, two, one, God's plan. <laughs> Like, yeah, I did up. see that one. Yeah, yeah. and that's funny. All the, the clips were hilarious from and it. Then yeah. Him yelling about the band aid. Like, Shut up, man. Oh, well, he said the other word, yeah. but I'm trying not to say yeah, it. I fuck it. <laughs> It's and it was, yeah, it's yeah. fucking, it was a fucking funny stream. Yeah. It was a entertaining time and none of it felt fake. And you know what the, the strangest part about it is, is the realization that the reason why those people got together, well, except Travis Scott, Travis Scott was high as fuck, yeah. which was great. Low key pick. But Drake and Juju Schmidt, I, I hope that's his fucking name. I, just, I keep seeing it on Twitter. His name, you call him Juju. Mm -hmm. um, they loved Ninja. They loved it. They are geeking out over this guy, and he's geeking out over them, and it was, like, wholesome. It was genuine. Yeah. It was entertaining, and it was, a, it was a group of people that enjoyed what the other does. And, and let me tell you, let me frame why that's important. Because when the fucking president of the United States comes out with a montage reel... Of the quote unquote oh, violence was, in that fucking That was video in the games? period between last podcast and this one. Yes. No, it's news. Yeah. Means we have to talk about remember, it. Remember, they we didn't get that montage just yet. We had just we did, we were just told it was happening. We kept poking video games with a stick and we were like, <laughs> hey, do something. Exactly. Do something. And now it happens. And and now that the government has a f and, and there are very oh, there are a lot of people. The the WHO uh, uh, the the fucking World Health Organization that's yeah. what it is yeah when they came out uh, and apparently there's a lot of uh, like accusations of them going to an event like a like a large tournament and saying like hey we want to talk about video games and how great they are and then using that uh, no it wasn't it wasn't them it was another publication that went over there to talk about that and to use the backed up uh, information from the WHO mm -hmm. as a way to be like, look at these gamers. Look at these killers. Look at these killers. These criminals or, or, the, or the fucking, uh, oh God, there was a, there. I'm trying so hard. I got to find the quote uh, because the quote was obscene. While, while you find the quote, just in case somebody hasn't seen this montage. Yes, it does have no Russian in it. Uh, it had to have. Surprisingly enough, no Mortal Kombat fatalities. And I think that's some of the most gruesome stuff I've seen in games. But, like, it as the video goes on, it gets sillier. Yeah. In what they're actually pulling from. Where it's like Fallout. The guy points the gun at an NPC. They shoot the NPC who was sitting down. And they stand up on top of the chair and, like, spin around. 
Like they show the game bugging out. You, you know why that's why that's silly. It's even sillier, right? Yeah. Where's it from? From Fall? It's from a fucking giant bomb let's play. They literally stole YouTube videos and downloaded yeah. videos illegally. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> to because... make the matcha! <laughs> Did you see? Uh, I, I think one of them actually, they gave credit to somebody. Either they gave credit or somebody's watermark was still clearly on it. Oh, man. I, I, won't, I but, don't know. I haven't fuck, seen my funny, The funniest comments I saw on all of those is like, damn, you, uh, damn, POTUS. No sick transitions. No dubstep. <laughs> Here's my email. Hit me up. <laughs> Yo, I could have made a just, fucking better montage in fucking Windows Movie Maker, boy. Like, but but the, fu the funniest ones were the ones that were like actually putting like, Yo, here's my contact information. Hit me up when you need a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Those were so good. I like the montage. Uh, to paraphrase the quote, I can't find it. It was a, I think it was a, a senator or another politician of that ilk um, that said something along the lines of, you know, when it comes to killers, we can't keep giving them virtual boot camps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, like, it, like an absolutely just off the wall, completely out there statement. Yeah. That completely misrepresents the idea of what video gaming is. And then, out of nowhere, this entirely wholesome stream murders Twitter. Twitter is aflame with everyone yeah. in the world talking about this one stream... On top of all the craziness, I was like, that is what gaming is. It is, it is the, if you really want to think about it, it is a fucking video game nerd who is a pro at video games with a high profile, mu like two high profile musicians and a fucking athlete. If that is not like 1980s cliche D and D yeah. old school movie archetype kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. it's it's incredible to see that many people from different walks of life all appreciate each other and just want to be together for this yeah. game. And it represents a very positive step forward for, for Twitch, for fucking, you know, gaming in general, mm -hmm. for their stuff. Because it means that now there's a the barrier of, of like... Oh, these people are just like us because that's a huge thing for people is that they they don't you know they try to disconnect themselves with those kinds of people and to see like I, I don't like Drake a whole lot of Drake shit some of Drake shit goes fucking hard some of it yeah. doesn't yeah I'm but mixed. like I, I like, like him as a person you know what I mean yeah. I like what he does I like like his things I like I like all I like what he's attempting to do here yeah. and I'd love to see him more it's like the same thing when I was super pumped about um, Terry Crews streaming. That guy is a bastion of positivity. And his streams were, were fucking hilarious uh -huh. when he did it. More mainstream pe people need to get into it. More people need to get the stigma because that still exists to this day about video gaming yeah. and break it down. And I don't even know, like... Because I'm sure there's so many, like, athletes, musicians, actors who probably play, like, a lot of shit. Yeah, and and enjoy doing it, and it's like you, while you shouldn't feel obligated, you also shouldn't feel like you need to hide any of that stuff. Where it's like I don't know who the fuck Chrissy Teigen is, yeah, but like she's out here shaking trees for people. Like <laughs> that's great. Like I don't know. Yeah, yeah it it really is like if you enjoy it, and if it is like a hobby that you are passionate about, then no matter where you're at on the on the dick ladder, you should you should show it. You should show Especially it because... now more than ever because it, it kind of needs it. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, the, it, just the fact that we still live in a day and age in which people are actively trying their hardest to be like, yeah, video games are fucking bad for you. It's like, are you kidding me, bro? Because, see, it, it's super weird because, like, we, we, we're so used to saying video games, like, like, immediately all these thoughts come to your mind when you think video games. But at the end of the day, you, you split them apart. It's just, just – it's, it's a game. Yeah. It's, it is – it like it is a game in the same sense that like Risk is a game mm -hmm. and Candyland and and fucking card games it's just a set of rules and you just play like nobody's saying that Risk is making dictators or training people for political takeovers <laughs> or no one or, no or Candyland is fucking enforcing diabetes yeah. or, or whatever this is a bit 
this is someone's bit we're stealing. Yeah. I swear to God, this is I, someone's is it? bit. I, I feel like remember. this is somebody. I, I just want to preempt, before anyone turns around and says it, I want to preemptively sit there and say, I've heard this bit before. We are we are unconsciously stealing yeah, all we, the time. We apologize. Including this. <laughs> um, but yeah, enjoy video games. But uh, the other interesting thing about that montage was it clearly shows, like, yeah, no, America very clearly um chooses to to show off like they're focusing on violence right now which is really weird because i was surprised that there were no like sexual stuff in any of it like i was genuinely expecting at least a just because i feel like if you're attacking games and you want to further your point and this is kind of playing devil's advocate you would want to attack it from all sides da -da -da, da -da -da. Like, like, I'm surprised there's no Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. The amount of games that are fucking... You could have thrown Gal Gun in there if you Ooh. want to say, like, oh, video games are making pedophile... Like, I... That's what. That's how weak this argument is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the people making it aren't even doing it properly. It's a bunch of old people. It's old people who have no idea. It's, ah, those crazy kids with their fucking controllers and augmented realities. Yeah. And, uh, like, we are not at the point where we need to... W eventually, if VR keeps going the way it goes, and we eventually get our full dive stuff, which, again, to pray every day, then we should have a conversation about it. But yeah. right now, yeah. when you're holding a controller, there is, there is nothing. There is nothing. There, the connect is not there. But we talked about this at length last podcast, so that's all I gotta say on that. Yeah. Um, well... Yeah. You know, it, it is what it is, and uh, whether regardless of where you sit on, the, on either side of the political fence, uh, uh, two weeks ago, I do want to say the last fucking thing that we did was I think we definitely approached that really bad. <laughs> I don't even remember the discussion we had about well, it. Well, it's probably not. I it got it more just, political than we always intended. Yeah, to I, I think the problem was that we just kind of. I, I I'm going to put this on me. We just kind of like went over the. Ah, well, shooting happened. Like yeah, and and, and like I don't I don't I don't ever want it to be like a like a fucking just a thing that you gloss over. Uh, it it was a very terrible event, and I oh I it was just, horrible, and it was it was too. It was maybe two high schools away from where I went to high school. Yeah. And where my sisters are currently going to school. Well, I mean, fucking... Like, it was incredibly close to home. South yeah. Florida getting hit hard right now with tragedy. Oh, dude, the fucking... The Pulse, pulse shit. Yeah. I can't, be, I can't begin to tell you. We had friends in there. Yeah. We had, like... like, And the, when you hear about this kind of shit all the time, especially at a fucking school, like, it's it's frightening. So, like, just, just as an aside, I know it's two weeks too yeah, late. Yeah, I know. I want to apologize for us just kind of going, whoa, spooky yeah. shooter. Like, you no. know, like. Yeah, no. We, because again, we, it, we're still trying to be a little lighthearted, although we probably should have handled that a little bit more seriously. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, even even when I say stuff like it, it's hard because, like, you, it happens so often now you're desensitized to it. Exactly. That's not saying it's not a Our big deal. Our first episode every was time. talking about it. <laughs> yeah. We I, made jokes. That is by. <laughs> no, ah! The. When I say desensitized, that is by no means downplaying it at all. It's yeah. fucking horrible. Yeah, it's but, terrible. Again, with that covered, let's move on from the school. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy podcast. Anyway, um, uh, moving on from there, let's talk. Let's go from uh, big hot button. It, okay, no, wait. There was one more thing I want to say about that montage. What do you want to say about, well, it? about the montage? I'm genuinely surprised they didn't take Venom Snake shooting the kids Ooh. and just completely Ooh. take it out of context and make it actually look like he was shooting the child soldiers. No, that would require actual research. That's a problem. Can you imagine? No, could, no it wouldn't require how any because it was in the trailer. But how did they not fucking put hatred in there? Hatred would have been like a perfect like fucking. Now I'm mad. Now I'm let mad. Me, let we me represent should... video game violence super hard. Let we me just tell you. All right, please look forward to our next video on hipsters on purpose, violent video games, and you. <laughs> um, all right, so let's let's head from big stuff to uh, literal fucking nothing. I don't know if you saw this in the Discord earlier or how much, but uh, how much you keep up with Overwatch competitive, the competitive league. Uh, but apparently. And this may come as a surprise to some people, but it's a fucking joke. <laughs> now, uh... apparently, um, first of all, I would just like to say the fact that you can have players on your team that are not from your state or country is dumb. Okay, so that's uh, that's a new thing that's been happening. And I want to say that the reason why that's been happening is because of the same, the same fucking reason it's always happening in League of Legends and every other thing. Mm -hmm. And the problem is... 
the Koreans are winning too fucking much. Korea is really good. Yes, it's, it's it. What it is is it's just it's like too many fucking people. Too many teams from Korea are at the point where like I think South Korea had uh, for League of Legends two like two or three separate teams in like the 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 fucking world match. So yeah. like uh, I guess the way that like League runs it League runs LCS. Is that they're trying to like kind of diversify everything? They're trying to make it so it's like an it feels like an even playing ground. Mm -hmm. So one of the biggest things for TSM, which is a really big uh, team on that side of thing, or was a big team. I don't know much about League of Legends uh, competitive play anymore. Mm -hmm. um, they brought on this guy named Bjergsen, who was like a super top high level uh, lol EU player. But he was from Europe. He was from another European team. Mm -hmm. And they fucking ganked him and said, hey, well, come here, we'll pay you more. And I think he's still sticking with that team. I, I haven't, once again, I haven't kept up. But him being there, like, it made a lot of their games far more winnable. Yeah. And then they start just pulling from Korean teams because... They just want to win. They have to, yeah. and, and and they're just... they're fucking rolling us. Still, I think in fucking Overwatch League, fucking Soul Dynasty is killing everybody. Well, next to uh, New York Excel Excelsior, it's a, it's a slaughter. Yeah, from every time. Pop. Well, Excelsior, yeah. Excelsior, I think is still doing good, but compared to Seal, I think oh, I thought last I ch I it's been a while. Last I checked, they were neck and neck, neck and neck. Yeah, yeah. like in score. I, if that changed. Uh, Oh, probably because they brought that fucking one Zarya player. Mm -hmm. you, you see that? You see that chick? No, I haven't. They they didn't invite her. This is this is the the story. Real quick aside, this is the chick back in the day that she wouldn't get on teams because they thought she was cheating and she had to prove herself, and she was just that fucking sick. Yeah. And you watch her game, you're like, oh. Fuck! Like I like. There's no way she's that accurate, but she is. And you're like, oh, that's that's pretty good. Well, I'm 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 happy that she's finally getting the recognition. She yeah, deserves. I think I think she's finally on a team. I don't I don't know, but I think that they finally have one female yeah. on a team. That's a step. It's a tiny. St <laughs> you dip your toe in the pool. You're you're you didn't you're, jump you're, in. You're smiling a lot. Some tells you got some spicy news. About I got some very spicy news. What? To watch. I'm just gonna read. I'm gonna dead ass read this whole article. It's two pair. It's this is it. This is the. That's how small of a story this is. Right. Are you ready? All right, time it. Here we go. A statement from head coach David Depay. Pay. During halftime of the match against the Houston Outlaws last night, Gladiators head coach David Pay accidentally bumped into Outlaws players backstage. He wanted to share this with the players and our fans. Yesterday during the Outlaws match, I inadvertently bumped into two of the Outlaws players. I hadn't been watching where I was going. I was distracted thinking about what to say to our team for King's Row, but I wanted to apologize immediately. I apologized to their players immediately after the game and... Tarong shortly, shortly after, who I'm assuming is the other team captain. Uh, I am sincerely sorry for my actions and assure you that there was no malicious intent. Even though it was an accident, it was still unprofessional of me to shoulder bump players from another team. So again, I am sorry. They weren't playing! They were standing! It, look, 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 this was it. I'm a reenact it. This joke works great for an audio podcast. <laughs> that was it! It was a little shoulder check because he wasn't looking forward. That's a problem. Like, I've never heard the audible version of someone com like saying sorry about a hover hand. Like that. That is like uh, the equivalent of the fucking audible hover hand. I am so sorry that I put you through this terrible tear. Yeah, you're right. Let me tell you something. Uh, I have been hearing back and forth about how the Overwatch League has had some some issues with uh i think one player got taken off the fucking team uh and fined an obscene amount of money for flicking off the camera yeah. which i mean you hear about that in professional sports and i guess on some level it makes sense because mm -hmm. you're talking about something that's a, like especially now that overwatch is getting like mileage on like disney xd and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah that i can get a little I, bit i more. get it but you're talking about a teen rated game well no it's i think it's mature no it's teen there's no blood teen. Yeah, so. um, we're talking about like a, a game that is rated a certain 
certain yeah, thing for teenagers that shows a lot of violence. The heroes and, shoot each and, other with and, guns. And yes. people can't walk out on the stage with silly glasses without having people walk up and take them off their face. That was that was the the one I watched. I don't know if that was the Gladiators or some some other team, but this guy came out with a fucking like uh, just a really si silly hater. He was, he was wearing communa glasses. Yeah, yeah. I think I think very close. And then people were just like, "Ha ha, that's so funny." And then he got approached by someone from the back, and he was like, "You could see him like really." And he took his fucking glasses off and handed them it's off. Like, Dude, they're prescription. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing this match now. I guess. Um, it's it's so. in the same vein that I feel like the the rush to try to be something bigger than itself with esports yeah. is absolutely taking the the fun and soul out of video games. It is way different than traditional sports. I, I mean, I mean, you even look at traditional sports. I remember for a very long time, on field celebrations for the NFL very recently are, are have just come back. You could not do yeah no. on field celebrations. Debo couldn't take a knee for thirty minutes uh, <laughs> like after every touchdown. It's just he can't do it anymore. But now he can take fifty if he wants. He can. He can do exactly that. He can sit down, go right on Fortnite Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Start playing real games. Oh my god! Uh, but like, I, I just the. The idea that you're effectively making this thing look so unfun and so uninviting. It's, ster it's not. It's beyond sterile. Yeah. Like. It's, it's, it's got no personality. It's got no yeah. fucking soul. I said this multiple times today, but esports is legitimately the worst thing to happen to video games. I am 100% convinced. I don't nah, think I don't, competitive I don't gaming. No. no. No, no, no. Esports. Not competitive gaming. Uh, mm. I think this push where every game needs to not only be esports ready, but everything like from the community to streams to everything, it needs to be squeaky clean. Do you want to know why he made this apology? Everyone thought it was a joke. Those two players went and complained. They reported him. You're kidding me. Now, again, I am frequently wrong, but Popcron, when it comes to Overwatch, and what happens in the competitive scene, yeah, yeah, at least, yeah. isn't. And that's what he told me. Apparently, they ratted this dude out for a, a little shoulder bump. A, a, they, a press release. This was using the, the channel that they do full press releases for the team with. That wasn't like a Twitter-like post. Nothing. Listen, that's uh, bullshit. Okay. All right, all right. Let me try to play devil's advocate here. When's the last time you've been shoulder-checked, though? But because of a mistake, okay, because yeah, of but, someone not paying but attention, like, yeah, but like, like, how hard was he shoulder checked? And could and, it sounds and how like did he, how he, did he, he did said he turn around and immediately go? He said shoulder check. I can guarantee it was he. He walked into them by accident. Just wasn't paying attention. I mean, I I agree with you. I am not. But what I'm I'm just trying to figure out like there had to have been something to where they saw they they thought there was animosity, which. I mean, fuck you. It's it's video games, man. Half the fun and all the Gears of War, like, that is one fucking yeah. scene that I think you need to watch. The Gears of War old school competitive scene mm. is fucking hysterical. Like, because motherfuckers will win around and be sitting in a land setting across from, like, a, head to head, head which to I head. super miss. Yeah, like, that's my favorite. I love that shit. And then, like, they would get up out of their chair and tell them that their mother is a bitch <laughs> and sit there and say that she never loved and them guess anyway. What? Then the other team uses that to power up. Exactly. And it's fucking high. Take the shoulder check, use the momentum to turn around and back fist the coach if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Dude, Ugh. thuggery makes competitive gaming fun. No one sits at a fucking fighting game at a party or anything like that and goes, Oh, you know, good game, Mario. My no. favorite part about when Mario... When you're beating someone's ass in Mario Party, what do you do? You go, Oh, bitch! No, what I do is I, I submit a press release and I say, <laughs> Listen, there was no malicious intent. When I, when, I knocked, when I was on the snowball and I knocked you <laughs> off, dude... <laughs> I am so sorry. That was unprofessional of me. And oh then I shake God. their hand. You know, I, if there's if there, because you know what, this also feeds into like a the, I guess to double back on the the positive side of the streaming thing. Mm -hmm. I I have a hundred percent always been in the mindset 
that people who try to embrace this false sen- this false positivity, the sense of like everything's okay, yeah. are are some of the most disingenuous content creators of all of all time. Mm-hmm. I will like to throw shade at those people. I'm not going to d- throw direct shade, considering it's a large portion of people. Yeah, but I'm Drake. Gonna throw- <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw indirect shade <laughs> at some people who attempt to make it seem like everything's this stream's all about positivity. Hey, what's up, silly willy wacky wobblers? Today we're. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You brought it back. Uh, you never waiting. left. You never left. You've been waiting to use that one. But like, I I am a hundred percent of the mindset that you need negativity. You need that fucking yeah. that 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 bullshit of people saying, "Oh, he's just a rage streamer." It's like, no, you need that so that when the positivity comes, it makes sense. It's like it it there's weight to it. There's an actual fu- there's something genuine about that reaction, uh, and and that's what I miss from and that's what I'm saying like. This kind of shit is just disingenuous beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Like, this this just does nothing but breed complete it's, disingenuous. For something called, like, for something that is literally called esports, it doesn't feel very it doesn't feel like a sport. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like a sport. And the, and the only reason why people are turning around saying it feels so... They're, you're not doing anything new. No. You're taking what people have been doing for years with other things... And affixing those rules to this thing, yeah. which this thing is not. Like, this, the video games are not meant to be played like some serious fucking thing all the time. They are, it, they are purely for entertainment. Yeah. And even though there are competitive scenes, you, look, look at the FGC. The FGC's got some problems, but no it, one's going to deny almost, those. Um, here, but I'll when like you show up to a fucking weekly... It's way different than showing up to a LAN where yeah. real animosity will happen... Far more frequently, I feel like. Yeah, we get it all out. When I say, yo, you suck at Project Justice and then never actually play a set with the guy. I didn't know that man. I didn't know that man. I didn't know that man who fucking did nothing but talk shit about me, but it felt good to watch you beat his ass You're seven welcome. times in a row. You're well, I did and it him you. go And him just get really upset at your fucking Android 21. Because that's all I have. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's all I got. Uh, but I'll tell you what. I didn't fault him for it because it's fighting. It's yeah. fucking. But see, here's the thing: is uh, and and to go along with what you said about kind of, you, you need the good and the bad and stuff. Esports players don't feel like athletes, whereas yeah. like most recently there was a, a set during uh, some. Uh, I think it was either a monthly or just event that Daigo was hosting in Japan, and and Daigo and Takedo did a first to ten set, and. Takedo lost, and that man cried. But yeah. you could see, like, you could see the passion from both players, the pride, all of it was there. They felt like athletes that, like, really, genuinely, like, lived, breathed, slept, ate Street Fighter. Yeah. You could feel it. And people are like, oh, why is he crying? It's like just a video game. It's like, no! This is what you want! If you want eSports, That's the reaction this you is want. The direction you want, you want get you want fucking uh, Dogoda and Galileo sitting there head in their hands contemplating their next moves for the last round of the game. You want that fucking the- everyone wants a Blaze Blue game, yeah. a, another Blaze Blue tournament, but they don't want to fucking admit that oh it's just video games. Fuck you, it's just video games. You piece of Every- shit. Video games is hype. Galileo is an athlete. He's a legend. He's a god. What was it? And this is the birth of a god. This is the fucking best commentary. Uh, this is the birth of a legend. I'm gonna this is the birth of a fucking I'm gonna god. I'm going to rewatch that top eight later. Um, but and, and and one of the biggest things is like is the respect. The respect there between Daigo and Takedo is real respect. Yeah. The respect that I feel in Overwatch is is like I shake contracts. your hand at the end of the yeah. I shake your hand at the it, end of the match. You respect me because if you don't, then you're gonna get fined. <laughs> Oh, the fucking worst. It's it's so it, it's. Uh, I just I I wish that people would wake the fuck up and realize that like not everything in life has to be. You don't. I mean, if you wanna, if you really wanna fucking succeed, the unfortunate fucking truth of the matter is that you're gonna have to sit there and act like nothing bad ever happens in the fucking video games and act like they you know everyone is you don't ever want to uh, judge a content creator because content creators sell their personalities and you don't want to step on people's toes that would be bad yeah unless they say the n word unless they out. say the n word 
<laughs> Unless they <laughs> find them cheat and on their wives and monetize it the fucking very next goddamn week, month. But, you know... Three different people! <laughs> Are you talking about the same guy I am? <laughs> Three people! I don't want to go into all the details, because it gets... It gets dark, but it only gets funnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, man, if you're talking about the same Overwatch player I'm thinking of... No, I was actually talking about a, a, just a streamer in general. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I do know who you're talking about. I don't give a shit. I'll say his name. Dr. Disrespect. Yes. Like, I, it, like, there, like it doesn't, like... Okay. I uh, Once again, I get the idea, but I did you see the fucking, like, art he had made? It's no. literally him sitting with her, like, dressed as an assassin with a knife around his neck. That's fucking disingenuous and shitty. Like that's fucking. Yeah. When people say problematic, they don't know what that word means. That's why. Yeah. That's a, problematic. That's why he has a PhD in disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Speak, speaking. That's of why I'm so happy that Ninja's fucking succeeding. Yeah. Because Ninja loves his wife. He loves. He his brings wife. her on. When I was watching. Us I will say this. Yeah. Him bringing his little daughter on, Doctor Respect, very cute. But, like, everyone loves their kids, so fuck off. That's like, cheating. That's, that's cheating. That's like, you can't People don't like your wife, then, like, it's whatever. But, it, no, you can't. If you hate the kid, then everyone will yell at you like you're a bad person. <laughs> you know, it's like, like, it's like, uh, it's like Pat and, and, uh, and, uh, oh, God, I can't remember her name. But his girlfriend. They're awesome. They're amazing. Both of them. That's they're, great. They're fucking absolutely. They, I wish I had a die. I wish I had, like, I'm hoping to God. I meet someone just as crazy as Paige yeah. in my life. Like that is that is a beautiful dynamic those two have, and it's it's amazing stream material every single time. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, it, it, these people just they show up and they and they they they're they're genuine. I want more of them. I don't want more of these fucking you know people. Yeah. I don't want the Tyler ones. I don't want the fucking Ice Poseidons or the fucking. Uh, Greeks. I don't know if you're world. calling people out or making up names on the spot. No, though I'm calling people out super hard. Well, a lot of them are, are IRL streamers too. Yeah, I get you. So, and Tyler One, I'll give Tyler One a pass. Tyler One's fucking hilarious. He, <laughs> his whole shtick is that he's just one fucking frat bro who can't stop playing League and getting banned from it. I That's love it. Funny. That's pretty funny. I um, love it a lot. All right. Actually. Guess what time it is? Speaking of competitive <laughs> games, it's it's Max's quick fire fighting game news that he does every single time. Do you really? Yeah, we starting done? last week. Yeah. You ready for new news? Sure. Speaking of when we talked about The Witcher earlier, oh. Gerald Geraldo, Greg Geraldo is coming to Soul Calibur 6. Oh, I can't wait. Guess what the box art for Soul Calibur 6 is? Is it just It's him. Wow, that's bad. And Mitsurugi. That's style. still bad. Still bad. Why? Uh, I don't know. Definitely put your guest character on the box, but like show some Soul Calibur characters too, maybe. <laughs> uh, no, uh, he looks super Is dope. he the Akuma? Is he like their cannot? Oh, what's that in the Witcher canon, man? What if he comes back in Witcher 4? I fought in some crazy fucking tournament. And I had to I travel some through dumb time. shit. And he has, <laughs> and he has Soul Edge. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Um, no, but he looks really dope. And while I wasn't super excited about him, and I'm still not entirely jazzed, I feel like there were some better options. He fits perfectly. Yeah. Like, if you didn't know what The Witcher was and you saw the Soul Calibur Six box art, you wouldn't be like, what's this fucking other guy doing here? Yeah, no, he's... Um, he fits... I mean, because Soul Calibur's never been anime. Soul no, Calibur's always it, been it's, very realistic in its proportions and how unless it Unless you're Valdo, but otherwise... Or Ivy. Or Ivy. But uh, otherwise, even then, it's still got, like, a medieval, like, kind of yeah. thing. As long as you kind of fit that, you're fine. Um, so that's that. Broly got a trailer for Dragon Ball Fighters. He looks like shit, and I don't want to talk about it. So I actually watched that trailer, and I feel really bad for you. I really do, because after playing Dragon Ball Fighters and be like, "Wow, oh, this is great," I really want to know what they're gonna do with other characters. And seeing Hit, I was like, "Really? That's all Broly got? Is this a big man?" Yeah, he's Android 16 with a big worse ground grab. Yeah, cool. big man doing a super slam. <laughs> Android 16 is such a can we talk about how cool Android 16 is? He's really character? cool. He's, he's a so problem. Fucking cool. He's a problem as he should be. I'm not even upset about it. I, <laughs> I, I'm not. He's so cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
You got uh, some more fighting game news there, buddy? I do, and I even have more Dragon Ball news. V-Jump oh. for the month came out. Uh, they showed more dramatic finishes for Broly and Bardock. Oh. Still no release date for these characters. Oh, of <laughs> Great. course. Uh, our Konama stream happened this morning. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Three more characters. You want to take a guess? At least on the Persona character? It's I guess. Good guess, Phil. <laughs> uh, they. So I guess I'm not getting Naoto, but they may loop back around. Who knows? Uh, oh, right, wow. Uh, they're just going to drop her? No, I, I don't think so. There, there's After this, there are four more uh, characters they could add, and that's just enough for uh, Mitsuru, uh, Akihiko, uh, Naoto, and Teddy. Right. And that's what I'm thinking. That is vanilla Persona forecast. Cool. Uh, Under Knight is getting Carmine, the dude with the blood. Blaze Blue is getting June, uh, uh, Jubei, which I wasn't oh. expecting. Catboy. People are really upset it's not Hakuman. They can go fuck themselves. Yeah, why? Jubei's way cooler. Yeah, Jubei's way fucking cooler. Hakuman, pretty cool. And he's coming. <laughs> but just shut up. You'll probably be the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Uh, fuck, there was another one. There was another one. There was another one. Oh, well. I guess it wasn't that important. That's it. That's it for fighting game news. All right. Awesome. Fighting game news. Awesome. I know I'm the only one who cares. But. No, I. I if I don't get it out there. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, going to that weekly. Every time, like, I think it's just the energy in a room, even if it's just a small amount of people there. Like, just the idea of so many people being, like, super jazzed about just fighting games in general yeah. is infectious. You missed like, it. Somebody set up Marvel, like, towards <laughs> the end, and I played my first match of Marvel in a while, and everyone stopped to watch the one match of Marvel being played <laughs> in Orlando. Oh, my God. This dead game. <sighs> Meanwhile, Apex in the bathroom fucking set up a KI booth. Hey guys, I'm a paying customer. I can do it. Uh, ah. God damn <laughs> so it. Shout out to Apex. Yeah, shout out to Apex. <laughs> and that dead ass game. <laughs> the dead ass game that's getting another league. Good for them. How? Uh, they did a donation drive last year for one of the, oh, the characters. Ooh, and the, I guess it's. It's a new Marvel baby. It's a new Marvel. New Marvel baby. Um, so there's. Oh, that. did you. No, hey, one more fighting game news. DBZ has the most entrance at Evo. It does. It does have insane. the most entrance. Yes, insane. I'm super excited. It has the smash effect. It has the smash effect where no one can play that game competitively, but because they recognize Goku, they'll enter. Oh, fuck. That's what we're not talking about. Fuck, there was a direct. <laughs> That's what it was. God damn it. God. All right, so a direct happens. Uh, Platoon's getting stuff. Everything's getting stuff. Travis Strikes Back continues to be the biggest disappointment. God, man, I did not very fucking... Upset. I you did not know. believe people when they said, it's just a fucking WarioWare collection of minigames. Like, no, fuck off. Suda wouldn't do that. Woody. Woody. Woody, would. though. And then you remember Black Knight, and you go, oh, yeah, he would, though. <sighs> So that happened. They got this hype-looking sushi game. But the big announcement was that there's a new Smash game. It's a new game. It's a new game. I can game. entirely convince it's a brand new game. I don't know how anyone couldn't be convinced it's a new game. I don't know why anyone thinks that it's not possible. I I, I, I don't I know don't why get people it. even would want like a, like just four again. Because 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 what they're saying, no, they don't want four. They want Melee HD. No, they don't. Yes, no, they do. I promise you no one really wants that. I pr it's a joke. The it's a meme. It, it's team, not real. The, the, the top ten of Melee no one would play it. No one would play it. No one, because everyone would realize Melee is not as fun as Smash Four, and the people who play Melee competitively will not be able to handle that lag. It Oof. is a waste of time for everybody. Yeah. Um, but still, again, positive. <laughs> Positivity, right? Uh, no, I, you know, I, I've, I've been having a lot of fun with Smash. I've been having people over, and we, we, we drink and we play Smash. This and is a fucking party game. Yeah, you know how party <laughs> game it is. I'll, I'll even show you the character select after this. We, we've been modding Brawl because I don't have a, a Wii U anymore. We got fucking Goku and Broly and some Toho characters Ooh, and shit. Well, like we that. destroyed Smash, <laughs> and it's I've never had more fun. It's got, you just basically turn it into fucking Mugen. That's it's got great. Gray Fox in it and the Battle Toads. <laughs> like, what? it's a Brawl Hollow version of Mugen. I'm oh, down man. with it. Um, but yeah, new Smash. It's coming. Switch is getting some stuff. As it would. Octopath Traveler is a game. 
Octopath Traveler is a game that yeah. I really, really, really hope comes out on a, another console. Can you guys tell it's been a slow, slow news week, kind of? Yeah, Again? it's been a kind of a slow news week. You know what it is, though? I was actually talking to a couple of my friends about this. Um, and one of the things that we're hearing more and more about as the days are going on, and what's getting me more and more pumped for this year, I don't... Obviously, we're too fucking far off. But Microsoft came out, and they said that we are going to... We are showcasing our biggest E3 yet. And there's a lot of things being fucking revealed. You know what that means. You know exactly what that means. Halo 6 is going to be there. That's all it means. Uh, no, that can't be it. It means they're going to do another... Uh, they're going to do... No. No, no they can't true. release another console. No, not, I wasn't going to say console. I was going to say Conquer, but that wasn't the one I was thinking of. Yeah. I was thinking of some really obscure original Xbox shit. What's, it starts with a K. Oh, fuck. What is it? I don't uh, remember. It's, it's like a... Uh, ah, fuck. Hey, you keep talking. Uh, okay, I'll find so anyways, it. <laughs> um, you know, we're hearing more and more news. Like, there's more leaks coming out about, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. All these games that are going to be showing up at E3. R rumors abound about Cyberpunk being there. I have no doubt in my mind that E3 this year is going to trump... twenty. Was, was it 2015? The last big year? Yeah. I think it was 2015, right? Because it'll like trump summer, this. Right? It'll trump that year if this one has dates, <clears throat> because that one was a lot of promises. I will say there's one. There's one uh, prediction I have in here that people are going to completely disagree with me on. Okay. Uh, so you you know days gone. Whacked. Here. They're going to make a new whacked. Sorry, I <laughs> I thought of a different one. I, I was thinking anymore. of fucking what? No, uh, I know which one you were thinking of. I found a different one. <laughs> Jesus. Went Christ. with that joke instead. <laughs> um, um. Thank you. What is it? Cam cameo. 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 Yeah, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, that was it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, fucking Days Gone got pushed to 2019. I think Last of Us is coming out this year. Yeah. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call I, it. I'm going to think we're going to get a, honestly, I think we're gonna gameplay demonstration. Honestly, I it's coming out at the end of the year. I think it'd be stupid not to release it this year. Because, like, <sighs> there's nothing else. I mean, all they're going to show, like, pretty much what this E3 is going to be is going to be. Hey, look at all... Well, I mean, God of War is a big game, but it's coming out next fucking month. So, uh, you know, and there's not really anything else. Whoa, Black Ops. But that's multi-platform. Black Ops 4. Four. Hey, remember it's... how we talked all that shit about going boots on ground? Yeah, we. that's fucking boring. Sorry. We fucked up. We realized that maybe you didn't want to open loot box on... On, on fucking I am 100% without a DJ. doubt of the mindset that motherfuckers who sat there and thought that they, going back to World War 2 was the best fucking move are, are dumb because no one's playing Battlefield 1 no one's playing fucking World War 2 and if they are it's not for fun it's because they got nothing else yeah. because Destiny 2 is shit and nobody wants to fucking admit the fact that Rainbow Six is an infinitely better game or the fact that Overwatch is also an infinitely better game buy one of the two Rainbow Six yeah. is great Overwatch is great get over it <laughs> I think Call of Duty is like, like I think it's still gonna sell well, but I think that it's gonna sell. The, like we're not. Talking, it's gonna sell. It's That's gonna not sell. what I mean, but I mean like it's time and the spotlight is done. Yeah, I think I think because of the fact that it doesn't. It's not. Like the idea of it not evolving to where gaming is right now. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, that's another thing that like makes me think that yeah, E3 is gonna be crazy. Shadow of the Tomb Raider got fucking uh, decimated. Decimated. It got its all of its balls shown on stream. Yeah, and then Division Two just got announced. There are more than a thousand people working on that fucking game. Man, maybe it'll be good this time. Maybe it'll be good at the beginning. At the beginning, Ubisoft's been doing that recently, huh? <laughs> You know what? They they've been you comeback know what? kings, but like Let, they're they're the, dude. I mean, I haven't played a Ubisoft. Well, I think even For Honor's got dedicated servers. How the fuck is For Honor still getting fucking content? I guess they brought in some new people. Ah, oh, dude, I, some competent people, and now they're well. Good now. So here, that's the thing is that like I keep hearing about how Wildlands is actually really good now. I've had a friend who said, like, yeah, Wildlands started off pretty rough, but, like, they've been doing dumb shit, like Predator DLC. Yeah. And, like, just... I like that. Sounds I like love you're just that. having fun now. Yeah, and it, who... D Rainbow Six Siege might as well be a fighting game with all those fucking operators. I... <laughs> like, what? Listen, have you... Okay. I've never Let's played not... a single match Siege of Siege. Siege is I really fucking want to. awesome. 
because of the fact that now they just have operators that have superpowers. That's all I wanted. Uh, uh, the two operators are from their, their new mode called Operation Chimera, which is a zombie fucking mode, and it's awesome. Cool. It's that very game's cool. like destruction physics are pretty interesting. Yeah. When it comes to environments, so it works perfectly for so, them. So the two operators in question are Finca and Lion. Finca is a... She just has a, uh, a literal... When everyone is in a down but out state, or not, or not but out, where like you can get downed, like if you get shot. Yeah. Um, if like let's say you're in a situation where everyone's downed for whatever reason, like no one got a good enough shot, you can pop your shit, bring them all back up, and boost them, like boost their health levels and make their fucking aim better. That sounds like some magic. It's, shit. it's some magic shit. And then Lion is he pops a thing, the entire map gets fucking told. And then all of a sudden, everyone goes, stop moving. The moment you move, you can be seen through walls. That's so, fucking dope. It's like, fucking what? cool. And then there's Dokebi who has the... And, and the thing is about Rainbow Six, the sound design is impeccable. Yeah. To the point where one operator, my favorite, just from like both aesthetic and her power, Dokebi, is a Korean hacker who her thing is, she just pulls out her fucking like, tablet and then throws it down and starts hitting up the enemy's phones. So when that happens, it makes it vibrate. So you can hear it vibrating through the wall. So oh, you can be like, there's someone right here. God. And the only way to turn it off is you have to go on there and turn your phone off. And if somebody fucking... And if somebody like gets their phone hacked, she can now hack into other people's cameras and drones. It's fucking cool, dude. It sounds Siege awesome. Siege is like, fucking great. Like, I just want Ubisoft to be putting that level of like quality and like fun into their games from the start. Yeah. Start strong. Yeah. Continue strong. And another Rayman. Because fuck off. Where's well, Rayman? <laughs> shake it. Look, Shake, I understand Dokebi's not meta, but that doesn't mean Dokebi's not fun. You know what I mean? Dokebi that doesn't mean that's not the, one of the coolest things I've, yeah, seen, I've like ever heard of a hacker doing in a multiplayer game. Exactly. It's super fun. Like, the first time, and you're just um, like, oh, dope. Oh, Beyond Good and Evil 2. We'll probably see that. That free-to-play multiplayer MOBA whatever battle called. royale game, whatever it's going to be. Because they don't seem to be. know. Oh, oh man. man. I, I really like what they're doing, man. And I'm hoping that Division 2... Does something to where it something crazy. Does something crazy. I hope it becomes the fatal bullet killer. <laughs> I, just, I can't. So I started I playing. Cannot. I started playing some of that game on PS4. Oh, uh, we don't have to talk about it. We uh, can talk about it after. <laughs> we, can, we don't have to. We don't have to put it in another podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. How dare you? You're the worst. No, you can tell me about it. No, it's want. fine. We'll save it for Bloodborne. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, oh my god oh games. and speaking of which we finally got a win did you hear I, 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 apparently it's super recent news Star Wars Battlefront 2 dead done with fucking uh, gameplay progression microtransactions everything's purely cosmetic now we didn't win they lost yeah but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Yeah. It is the best possible outcome for a terrible situation. And I'm pretty sure they're moving through with more litigation about the... I don't, I don't know about outlawing loot boxes, but definitely yeah. making it like... Uh, China has a very interesting way of what they're doing, uh, where they force Blizzard to show the actual rates at which boxes drop. I would rather just... Buy the items. I 100%. Without if I like a, doubt. a game, I'm going to support it anyway. <clears throat> then just let me let me buy your $80 costume DLC. For yeah, no, reflection. don't do that. Yeah, well, Not shot. quite that. Speaking of throwing shade, I want to throw shade at fucking Game Forge real quick. Uh, I want to talk about my fucking shitty anime games that I play all the goddamn time. Yeah. Still work online. Finally got an open beta. That game is fucking great. Um, they, took the, they took the whole Korean version and just lifted it. And the Korean version is in, like infinitely the worst version because it takes like to the point where you can make costumes in that game through in-game materials you can pick up. Yeah. They added a zero to every bit of material. So instead of 14 of a for, like a scrap you need item, 140. 140. So uh... if you want to do that, you have to go and buy 
uh, you know, costumes, which I think some costumes do have the ability to have brooches on them, which you can add a stats to. It's not pay to win, but there's $30 hairstyles. That sounds like one of your weird Korean yeah. MMOs. Yeah, that's and, shame, and, and that's fucked up because I, you know... It, Soul Workers looked really fun. Soul Workers, probably the best one out of all, like if, in a in a day and age in which PSO2 is not getting released in yeah. America... Your um, alternatives are... Soul Worker, Closers, and I think I just DFO. downloaded Closers. Closers is fun. I haven't started it. Closers, Closers is what Elsword should be. I've been thinking about it. Honestly. Um, Closers is really fun. Yeah. And, and and going back to Battlefront 2, I actually finally got the opportunity to play it, and it kind of sucks because, like, it's a pretty solid shooter, and it looks really good. And the hero battle mode was kind of fun. I but think the fact that some people could buy objectively better heroes is dumb. And gear. Because when my whole team picks the lightsaber users and I'm stuck with fucking Chewie, what am I going to do when Darth Maul is flipping towards me? Low-key, Han Solo and fucking Boba Fett in the last game were really good. Boba Fett can... works because he can fly away. Yeah. Han Solo is... <laughs> what a great joke for an what audio a, podcast. Oh, that's my favorite audio podcast joke is <laughs> what a great joke for an audio podcast. <laughs> uh, oh, man. But, you know, eh, yeah. I, I'm really curious to see how... With all this crazy shit happening around the, the loot box and the microtransaction thing, how, how the game industry is going to answer to this? Like, what exactly is the next step? How how do they go about monetize, monetization uh, and, and get away with it? Really? You know, and, and, and to, be, to make it to a point where it's like Jim Sterling puts the pitchfork down. You know? Because he, cause he's... Yeah. If you're going to talk about someone who's going to, like, call your shit out real hard... Yeah, it's it's that guy on anything. Yeah, on it's, anything, it's like it, he he will. If and, it's anything to do with microtransactions, it has to be something where you can be like. Mm. And here's the thing: it's like I, because I I play a surprising amount of like gotcha mobile games. Actually, like I've been playing Dissidia, Opera, whatever. Yeah, having a really good time with it. The characters you unlock through the story, but all the weapons and equipment are from loot boxes. But the rate by which I'm getting like more loot boxes, I can technically pay for them. But, like, I'm getting them for free, and I find it kind of fun, because it's like, what am I going to get? Yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't know. If it's the it, buying, if I buy something, I want to know what I'm buying. It depends if on the I'm game. If I'm doing a random thing, like, I think that's how it needs to be. If anything, like, you unlock things randomly, maybe, but then you, when you buy something, you buy what you get. Like, yeah. you pick it out, that's what you're getting. Yeah. But yeah, there is. I don't know what the right answer is. Give me everything for free. Sponsor <laughs> hipsters on purpose is the thing. Oh man! So I posted about this on Twitter a little while back to talk about like one of the main problems I have with uh, like microtransactions in general. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure if you saw that post. Here, let me. Let me go ahead and pull up. It's not going to take a. Uh, this than is a second. next level. It, Reading it's, our own statements. We not. Honestly. No, it's not my statement. Oh, okay. I, I like thought it was. It. I was on. I was on Reddit basically, and it was during. Once again, it's about Soul Worker. Okay. And the idea is, is that like I was going through the Reddit comments because every single comment has been about like, hey, this is bullshit. Like you're charging more than fucking forty dollars for costumes. Yeah. Uh, and it's this kind of... Once again, I'm going to do the you thing. I'm going to read this a little bit. Go ahead. I want to go ahead. I actually learned it by watching you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to um, pass that on to me. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so this guy, whose name is Artemis Desu, uh, says, Who cares about other games? You're, you're playing Soul Worker, not Closers, not Elsword, not Tetris. And this is in regards to... is in response to this guy... Who's posting like, hey, this is too much fucking money. Uh, you can sit here making comparisons all day to make yourself feel better. But at the end of the day, you'll still be the one crying that you can't afford to spend money on a virtual game with your minimum wage. You value your money because you don't make enough of it. Eventually, you make enough to where things like this don't make you burst into tears every morning. What a joke. I value this $50 bill. Ah ha ha. Nobody said it was an excuse. Are you dense? They can buy their fashion items with hard work in game. You know, since you don't want to work hard in real life to make money, you can at least try a little bit in game you want you, uh, what you want. 
Nobody is going to give you a handout. It's a lesson you should start memorizing. And yeah, I'm supporting the server. That's how it works. Or do you think energy is free? Again, you can twist it to whatever will make you sleep better at night. I mean, I guess I could call her up and ask her that. I think he's talking about his mother. Uh, meanwhile, you can get up and stream for yours since you still live with her. She might even lend you some money. So that guy, very clearly an idiot. But the argument that he's, I think, making can still be scrutinized. <laughs> he is very clearly just a shitter. He's, <laughs> like, he's a fucking piece of shit. How? <laughs> that dude licked I his value... fingers before he typed that out. <laughs> I value this $50 bill. Fuck yeah, I value $50 bill, you stupid bitch. $50 gets me a fucking game. No, it barely does. It's like halfway. No, it's like 75% of the fucking way there. Yeah. <laughs> Still bad at math. 85. It's not my it's not my forte. Dude. Fucking ridiculous. And that, those those are the kinds of people that are making that's that's the guy pissed about the not loot boxes not happening in fucking Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah. I missed the random chance because I really value I I don't. I don't, I don't value, I don't value anything. anything. I don't I'm so rich I make a bajillion dollars. <laughs> Martin Shrelly, eat your heart out. At a certain In point, jail. you're gonna make so much money that you're gonna you're gonna spend eighty dollars on all those bathing suit costumes, dude. That's fuck you money. That's what that is. I'd love to have if I won the fucking million. If I won the fucking lottery, first thing I'm doing, buying all that fucking DLC. <laughs> buying all the Dead or Alive DLC. I will have the one set up that has all the Dead or Alive costumes, and I will charge people to use. But see, there it is. I don't, I can't, I, I don't think I could ever get to a point where I'm so rich that fuck you, that's probably the eighth Jew, and I can't, it n it'll never get to it, <laughs> it'll never get to a point, I like where even I'm like, immediately, I'm not gonna let you get away from that, you immediately stepped away from that, no, it's I just okay. kept going, it's okay, no, You're it's, <laughs> <laughs> I can say an eighth of that statement, you can, absolutely, but, I, no, because because even there, the first thing my brain thought was like, yeah, I'll get fuck you money. Fuck it. I'll just buy all the Dead or Alive costumes, and then I'll charge people to use my setup to recoup the cost so I can buy more Dead or Alive stuff. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Summer Jam, bitch. I don't think I'd ever get to the point where I'd, like, burn a dollar bill for fun. Yeah. Like those people who walk outside of fucking console releases and smash them. It's like, there's nothing funny about that. There's nothing inherently entertaining about watching like, people do that. I don't get how Ice Cube says that they'll wipe their asses with 20s, light their blunts with 1s, <laughs> throw away the guns, and have nothing but fun. Because that doesn't sound fun to me at yeah, all. Today, today was a good day. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right song, but no, it's fun. not. It's, uh, uh, you did it with, uh, uh, Crazy Bone. Oh! I forget the song. What the fuck is that? I really like that's one of my favorite songs. Oh shit. What I the can't fuck? remember the name. God damn it. Oh well. <clears throat> it's that podcast. the podcast is what is it called? The podcast is Not another podcast. What is it called? <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> the best ever <laughs> Not another podcast episode five. Wait, let me pull this up. Wait, let me I that not another podcast episode five. I'm going to read this verbatim <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> Because I think I said that word unironically for the first time in my life uh, earlier on tonight. Oh man, did you? I, why did you say that? Why did you say verbatim dead ass? Because verbatim dead ass. Because immediately, oh, I have been on a fucking tear today. How did? How does this? Let connect? me let me tell you something. I saw the Ready Player One trailer for for Dreamers. Man, I did not. That movie, the more I see of it, looks like fucking garbage. I will not watch another trailer for that movie. I want to go in blind. I want to go in as blind as possible so that when I stand up in the theater, I that's it. I'm, just I'm about to stand. open your fucking eyes, okay? I'm about to open your fucking eyes to this trailer. To two scenes in particular that, that I know really one of stood them. out to me. I know the one. Uh, uh, really. Because the one scene that I saw, there's two. One of them is on the basis of it's, it's trying so hard, it's not even funny. And the other one is, how does that work? Um, not, I don't know what you're talking about then. Okay. So, the first scene that was in this trailer was... One, I guess one of the main girl characters is on Kanada's bike from Akira, yes. outrunning a T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Yeah. That is also... Do you guys remember the 80s? 
that is also running away in a DeLorean, yes. and then something stops them. I, for, I think the T-Rex picks up another vehicle and throws it. Yeah. And then it immediately hard cuts to the Iron Giant doing something completely out of character. That's what I thought you were talking about. demolishing fucking everything. Hey, what's the one thing you remember about the movie Iron Giant? I am not a, a gun. gun. Exactly. What is the what is the one thing the you Superman. see him do? Eye lasers. Which I guess is a Superman thing to do. <laughs> Vin Diesel's really good at saying just a few things and yeah. making it super powerful. You can't call him a bad actor because you you cried. Because I cried. Times. I cried when that tree burned <laughs> up. <laughs> you can't call him a bad actor. You can't. Straight up. He's a good voice. He's a good voice. Dude, dead, dead, dead. <laughs> verbatim, dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> So so I saw that and like the whole trailer is just consistently going back and forth and I'm like this looks like fucking nostalgia bait garbage and half of this isn't even nostalgia like half of this is just how much can we fucking fit into the sp span of yeah. a two and a half hour movie I don't even know maybe it's even shorter to sell these fucking licenses and make that money back super quick. And then the other one that I saw, now mind you, there is a particular scene that is actually kind of cool. And it's the one where they're in, I guess, a, a nightclub. And he walks in and everyone's flying. Like everyone's kind of like floating yeah. around in the air. Including the This Joker. motherfucker's on a treadmill. There's a scene, like in the next tra like shot. Yeah, because, the, okay, because it's important to remember, it's not full dive. It's just VR. How the fuck does flying around in VR work on a treadmill, bitch? There is the scene, the dumbass scene, where it's the people wearing their stupid things, pretending to hold guns, turning into the Spartans from Halo. The other scene, where running. they're running to an actual area somewhere, and they're all in the cars, where it's like They the hop army. on little bikes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, like, what is this VR? What is the science behind it? Uh, Why I'm is not, this motherfucker I'm not in, a, say what in, a, I'm in a tiny in a tiny fucking favela of fucking America apparently able to afford a fucking VR headset haptic suit with feedback and a treadmill? And how is that able to let him drive, shoot, do anything when the treadmill is like not even longer than your fucking coffee table? All right. I'm going to ask you a question during Bloodborne. I'm going to save it for that. Um, I am just... I want this movie to either completely blow me away, or it's like, no, but it's really hype, though. And it be incredible, or I want it to be the lowest garbage I've ever seen in my life. Have you actually read the book? I haven't. Every quote I have seen from this book, I don't know how... I don't know how it got published. It's that bad. Hey, you read some excerpts from a book that I happen to have here in my home, written by someone I know. Yeah. It's that level of bad. All right, you ready? Because I'm gonna read. I'm gonna. I read really one. hope it's the one I'm thinking Dead of. Dead ass. No. Dead ass verbatim. Dead ass from verbatim. the book. By the way, shout out to uh, Sutake and uh, M for opening my eyes to this today. Uh. This is a, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I, I'm for full disclosure. It's gonna sound racist because I'm gonna use the voice because I need you to understand how badly this is written. Would you like some background music for this? Would you like some? Is it a dramatic scene? Uh, it, well, no. It's it's a small. Oh, here we go. All right. Okay. All just right. yeah. Just go. <laughs> just do it. You two should keep the beta capsule. I said. Urutaro Man is Japan's greatest superhero. His powers belong in Japanese hands. They were both surprised and humbled by my generosity, especially Daito. Oh, thank you, possible san he said, bowing low. You are a man of honor. Isn't it really nice that the white man has come to save everybody once again? I nodded. And then I walked over it and took down going. one of the samurai swords mounted on the wall and presented it to Shoto. Please, I said, accept this gift to aid you in your new quest. Shoto took the sword and drew its ornate blade a few inches from the scabbard. A Masamune? He asked, staring at the blade in wonder. I nodded. Yes, and it's a 5 plus Vorpal blade, too. Shoto bowed it again to show his gratitude. Arigato. <laughs> we rode the elevator back down to my it's hangar in going. silence. <laughs> Just before he boarded his ship, Shoto turned to me. How long do you think it will take for the Sixes to clear the third gate? He asked. I don't know, I said. 
hopefully long enough for us to catch up with him. It's not over until the fat it's not over till the fat lady is singing, right? I nodded. It's not over until it's over, and it's not over yet. Please look forward to Ready Player One coming to theaters. Not next week. Is it today? Not today. Is it? It comes. Wait, let me pull this up. <laughs> Maybe there isn't a Bloodborne stream tonight. Hold on. Maybe. We are not going. We're going. No, tonight. I have no money. Oh, uh, I don't have money either. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's, it's when does it come out? March 28th. Okay, so okay. we have some time. Um. Yeah, no, it is it is bad. It's terrible. It is, and if you think the movie is like, remember this? Remember this? The book is even worse. Oh, yeah. Because even the inner thoughts is like, man, I remember, I remember Speed Racer who drove the Speed Racer car back on the old anime show back in year whatever directed by, like, it. it's bad. Look, I'm going to give Ray J. Kur uh, how do you say his name? Ray J. Kurokawa? Reki Kawahara? Reki Kawahara, okay. I'm going to give him all the shit in the world forever and day. Yes. I would rather read Sword Art. All right, 100%. I'll let you borrow volume one. No. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing otherwise? You're not watching anime. <laughs> I got Log Horizon, Excel World, and Sword Art. Which would you I like? I have all of those. <laughs> ah! Um... All right. Well, you brought it up, so now I'm going to ask you: Do you think you'll be more confused leaving this theater or the or Ordinal Scale? Oh, definitely Ordinal Scale. Like this is not going to be a confusing movie. Like that's I just mean by the tech. Oh fuck yeah! Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. How does it work? No, this movie is going to be incredibly shallow. How? But it's a tech fucking wise, headset. Yeah. Okay. It's a headset that fe has a force feedback fucking suit. Mm -hmm. Okay. How does the force feedback suit make you feel like you're flying on a treadmill? What if, if you took off the force feedback suit, wouldn't you be invincible? Because you could just tank hits? Not giving a shit? Yeah, but I think you can't, though. I, well, what because, do I know? Because what's the treadmill? Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I March. guess we'll find out. Please look forward to the full spoiler cast of Ready Player One. I will say this. There are way more frequent attempts on this man's life than they're, like, in the real world. Like, they straight up are like, this fucking idiot's wearing a dumb headset, and they keep trying to blow him up. Yeah. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> just systematically, like, and the motherfucker goes, like, the way they explain it in the fucking Wikipedia thing is it's, he goes to an apartment hidden underground for hardcore fucking players. Ah! Hey, welcome to Campus Cards and Games 2. <laughs> <laughs> Want to play Project Justice? <laughs> uh, the hardest inside joke of oh, all time. Oh, man. I, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be fucking garbage. And, and I think the worst part is, is like, if that were to theoretically happen, yeah, it would have all this bullshit in it. There'd be people playing as Tracer and Master Chief, like, it makes sense, but this doesn't feel genuine at all. My friend said it was VR chat the movie, and I was like, mm, "Man, I'm pretty upset now." Yeah. That's a pretty good way to ruin my night. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching the pod, listening to, doing whatever you're doing with the podcast. We appreciate you and everything you're about. Is this how you guys feel when I do this to you at yeah. the end? Of yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how we feel. Anyways, my name is Phil. This is Max. Max, say your name. Max. Uh, this is Max. Uh, please follow us on Hipsters on Purpose. On the YouTube. On uh, YouTube. We'll post a link in the stream down below. Or someone else will post it. Yeah. Who cares? And Do we then... have anything to say about upcoming content? Uh, As of right now. The hot take is different. I have a new hot take. New That's... hot take is different. I uh, When I presented it on Twitter, it's going to be a far more personal video than I think I've ever released. Oh. But it's going to be like a... It's going to be a weirdly positive video, but also weirdly negative at the same time mm -hmm. but it's a very personal video um, um i can 100 percent say the sword art video has an exact release date um and it's later than people probably it is timed with another thing that'll be good for its its release mm. basically i'll wait until you turn the stream off i will yeah
It's gun ga- what, the first day the gun and gale online show. Please. It's uh, not a secret. It's oh my god. Anyways, uh, <laughs> thanks for for listening, guys. Go, uh, go um, take a nap. Go take a nap. Go follow us on Bloodborne. Then follow us on Bloodborne. Follow us on Bloodborne. Is that going to be on mine? Yeah, we'll put it on yours. Okay, cool. Um, also, <laughs> stream exclusive. I didn't hit local recording again. <laughs> oh, how are you this bad? I am not good. Can't wait till that fucking VOD gets muted somehow. Because I fucking did the Dead or Alive theme song. Bada bow, bada bow. Bada bow, bada bow. Bada bow, bada bow, bada bow. Bye, guys.